for the last two years, I've been thinking about the Black Madonna. In some ways, the Madonna Project was born because I was in Basel, kind of considering fully what might happen if I were to do an exhibition there. And I knew that there was a really important, very famous Black Madonna in the far north of Switzerland that lots of different kinds of people would go to and pay homage to. I was curious about that Madonna in relationship to my knowledge of the Black Madonna, which came through a kind of Black liberation theology group in Detroit called the Shrine of the Black Madonna. So I quickly kind of made this parallel between the kind of Catholic icon and this um, black revolutionary, kind of radical black religious group. That was the kind of basic cell. Then I thought I could reflect in other ways. So in Chicago, I've been working with the Johnson Publishing Archive. And Linda Johnson Rice was kind enough to allow me to use 13,000 images of hers um, that would allow me to then look at the black female image over three decades from the 50s, 60s, and 70s and kind of think about the black woman and the kind of plight of the black American woman as a set of images worth interrogating. I started thinking more conceptually about the Madonna and printing or reproducibility or reproduction, the printing press uh, as this other form of a kind of Madonna with the idea of reproducing and then this apparatus that could disseminate the word or words all over the world. There are two occasions that are kind of uh, sub-themes to the project. One is the fact that uh, my studio purchased a printing press from a place called Boswell, Indiana. And for the locals, Boswell is pronounced Basel. So it was like this kind of interesting parallel that these presses were reflecting on this other printing city. But also I feel like there's something magical about Johnson Publishing Company where for so many artists, including Ellen Gallagher, Morna Simpson, Hank Willis Thomas, myself, we've all pulled from this archive as like America's black archive. And in some ways, I feel a little bit careful and, re and reverent touching these things. But in, in another way, it feels like the perfect way to pay homage to the most expansive black publishing company in the world. There are two works that maybe I can talk about a little bit. One is uh, what I'm calling the Louis Sullivan Cross. It's this, uh, it's in part a beautiful Louis Sullivan architectural terracotta um, that, that forms the portion of a kind of cross. Then I decide to complete that cross with another stone. Reflecting on the Madonna, I just feel uh, it's exciting to be a part of that building canon and kind of completing the cross. And so that, that piece is exciting. The other work that, that I feel really proud of is having the last two years to work with Linda Johnson Rice at Johnson Publishing, where we essentially moved into her offices. We um, scanned all these images. We became a kind of publication and production house of technicians and graphic designers reflecting on all these, these images uh, and maybe in some cases content that had never been seen on these images or images that have never been seen by the public. All with the hope of celebrating those images as they are, but maybe also pushing those images into a, a new creative zone. And so, I'm playing more than I ever have with the printed material, type, setting, publication, um, an imprint that we've created called Black Madonna Press, and all of those things will become evident in the, in the shows over the next six months.